Hello and welcome back to OnlyPay. We'll be discussing about what is car insurance and the different kinds of contracts all you need to know. Be sure to watch all the way to the end. If you are new to the channel then hit the subscribe button below for more life changing content. What is car insurance? Car insurance covers damage to your vehicle and protects your financial if you are liable for someone else's injuries or damages. Auto car insurance can also pay for medical bills if you or your passengers are injured in an accident or you are hit by an insured or un- uninsured driver. Your policy protects you up from certain limit agreed upon you uh, and your insurer. So, do I need a car insurance? Auto insurance is required in all states except New Hampshire. New Hampshire still requires financial stability responsibility if you cause an accident so you will want to properly insure. Driving without insurance can result in a fine, license suspensions or even jail time. Progressive and most other insurance will insure any policies you select meet your state's requirement. What does auto car insurance cover? Auto car insurance a variety of mishaps that can occur on or off the road although coverages may vary by state these are the standard coverages on most auto insurance policies liability auto liability coverages is required in 49 states if you are found at fault in an auto accident liability coverage can pay for damages to other vehicles damages to objects injuries to other drivers and their passengers and lawsuits if you are sued due to an accident comprehensive comprehensive coverage protects against damage to your car from events beyond your control including theft windshield and glass damage vandalism f- falling a tree or and more collision collision coverage covers your vehicle if it overturns or collides with another vehicle or objects including trees guardrails and fences medical payments or personal injury protections Medical payment coverage is offered in the most states while personal injury protection is a border coverage that is available only in the states that require it to the offered both cover medical bills if you or your passengers are injured in a car accident uninsured or uninsured motorist bodily injured and property damage which which we call UIM can pay for injuries caused to you and your passengers when you are hit by a driver with no insurance or not even coverage umpd can pay to repair or replace your vehicles if it's damaged in an accident with an uninsured and uninsured driver the other optional coverages includes rental car reimbursement loans lease of lease payoff also known as gap coverage and roadside assistance what does car insurance not cover A basic insurance policy won't cover wear and tear. People who regularly drive your car but aren't listed in the policy and driving on a road roadside sharing platform, however, you can sometimes add coverage or purchase a separate policy or warranty to cover the things your auto policy doesn't. For example, you can add ride share coverage to your progressive auto policies. What are the contracts? Understanding how insurance contracts works can be very beneficial. When you are deciding if you need a lawyer after a car crash or other serious personal injury, there are seven basic principles applicable to insurance contracts relevant to personal injury and car accident cases. Number one, utmost good faith. This is a very basic and primary principle of insurance contract because the nature of the service is for the insurance company to provide a certain level of security and solidarity and in the insured person's life. However, the insurance company must also watch out of anyone looking for a way to scam them into free money. So each party is expected to act in a good faith towards each other. Number 2, insurable interest. insurable interest just means that the subject matters of contract must provide some financial gain by existing for the insured and would lead to a financial loss if damage destroyed stolen or lost number 3 proximity cost when buying your insurance policies you will most likely to go through a process where you select which instant you and your property will be covered for and which one will not 
This is where you are selecting which proximity cause are covered. If you end up in an accident, then the proximity cause will have to be investigated so that the insurance company validates that you are covered for the incident. Number 4. Indemnity Essentially, this is the part of the contract that matters the most of the insurance policyholders because this is the part of the contract that says she or he has the right to be compensated or in other words, indemnified or his or her loss. Number 5. Subrogation This principle can be a little confusing but the example should help make it clear. Subrogation is sustaining one creditor, the insurance company for another insurance company representing the person responsible for the loss. Number 6. Contribution For instance, imagine that you have taken out two insurance contracts on used Lamborghini so that you covered fully in an, any situation. Let's say you have a policy that all state that covers 30,000 US dollars in property damage and policy with state farm that covers 50,000 in property damage. If you end up in a wreck cause 50,000 worth of damage to your vehicle, then about 19,000 will be covered by all state and 30, 31,000 by state farm. Number 7. Loss Minimization This is our final principle that creates the insurance contract and the most simple one probably. In an uncertain event, it is the insured responsibilities to take all precautions to minimize the loss on the insured property. Insurance contracts shouldn't be about getting free stuff every time something bad happens. Therefore, a little responsibility is bestowed upon the insured to take all the measures possible to minimize the loss on the property. This principle can be de debatable, so call a lawyer if you think you are being unfairly judged under this principle. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and be sure to turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any video just like this one. Please give us your thoughts in your comments below and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.